Good evening. Back with another late night discussion. Happy early Saturday morning. In this presentation here, I want to talk about confidence. Do people really understand what confidence means? People say have confidence. But what does confidence really mean? Confidence is the belief in oneself, right? But people tell people to just be confident without realizing you have to have the credentials to back it up. You can't cook with cold grease, the words of Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather, I'm going to use him as an example. Floyd Money Mayweather, always shopping in Monaco, wearing their Minagil Dozenia, wearing Kenzo, wearing La Piana, you name it. A man like Floyd Mayweather, wearing Pierre Balmain, a man like Floyd Mayweather, he's confident when he was in the boxing ring because he was kicking behinds and taking names. He had a reason to have the cocky bravado that he had because of his success. And confidence comes from winning in life. Somebody who's been losing or someone who's had a lot of bad experiences in life, you know, because I used to wonder, does it make you a failure if you've had a lot of negative experiences in life? It, You know, but if you're a person who's had a lot of negative events take place in your life, how much confidence do you think you're going to have? They tell guys, oh, just believe in yourself. Just have the confidence with the ladies. But how are you going to have the confidence with the ladies when you're not being chosen, when you're not being selected? And when it comes to women, I don't look at race. You know, I know some guys look at race when it comes to women. I used to look at race, but I don't look at race anymore when it comes to women. I don't pay race any mind because women are women at the end of the day. And women are judging men by the same. They're judging men by the same criteria. Confidence comes from success. A man can't be confident with women if he's not getting the success that's needed for him to be confident. Because we always hear people say, oh, just have confidence. Just have a positive mindset. Just strap yourself up by the boots. Don't complain. But are people really understanding what they are saying? Life has beat the self-esteem out of some people. Life has beat the confidence out of some people. Some people have encountered so much hell in their life and they've had so much adversity. They don't have a reason to be confident. So when people say just be confident, I don't think people really understand what confidence really means. You got to have a reason to have a winner mentality. You got to have a reason to have, and I hate this old ignorant word, but it's very prevalent within the, the black community, swag. You got to have a reason to have a swag about yourself. And, you know, confidence and being self-assured, all of that comes from positive reinforcement. It comes from positive life experiences. And if you're a person who hasn't had the positive reinforcement that's needed for you to have confidence, then your confidence is not going to be where it needs to be. You know? And that's what I had to understand. In order for a person to truly believe in themselves, in order for a person to really have confidence in themselves, they have to have good life experiences. That's where it all begins. That's where it all begins. Good, meaningful life experiences. That will give you the confidence that you need. You can't have failure 
You can't have nothing but failure in your life and have confidence. It's not going to work. So I wanted to make this video to talk about confidence because a lot of people don't, I don't think a lot of people really understand the real meaning of confidence because people use that word so loosely. I don't think they truly understand that you got to have credentials behind that. You got to have a reason to back it up. You know, anything that a person is good at, anything that a person excels at, they're going to have great confidence in whatever area that is, because that is an area that they are efficient in. So if you're, a, if you know, whatever you're good at, you're going to have confidence in that. You're going to be self-assured. So you can't have the confidence without the success. The success and the confidence go hand in hand. Um, this is why I don't believe in just telling guys, oh, just have confidence, bro. Just hit the gym, bro. It's nothing wrong with hitting the gym because it's a good way to relieve stress. It's a good way to escape the madness of the world but don't think that because you go work out that that's gonna change your situation around when it comes to the ladies don't think that don't get that impression but um confidence is gonna be very hard to have if a person has had a lot of just just bad things happening to them in life. And I don't think people need to just tell people to have confidence because people use this term so loosely. I don't think they really understand what confidence means. I don't really think they understand what confidence is. You got to have a reason to have a winner mentality and you got to have a reason to have a winner mindset. A person's mindset is just a cultivation of their life experiences. So I don't believe in telling a person to change their mindset. Their life experiences have to change. And when the life experiences change, the mindset will follow. See, confidence is nothing more than a product of a person who's had a good quality of life is nothing more than a product of a person who's had a lot of success and a lot of goodness in their life. If you've had a lot of goodness in your life, you're going to have confidence. It's going to come to you naturally. And that is what people need to understand. You know, because Without the, the right, without positive life experiences, a person is always going to suffer with self-doubt. So at the end of the day, it's just all about how life is going for you. You know, it's all about how things are going in your life. And it's all about your experiences. You can't expect guys to have confidence with the opposite sex when they haven't had the experience or the success that's needed to have that confidence. But that's been this discussion for now. You guys have a good morning. Happy Saturday. And I will be talking to you soon. Good night.